thank you everybody for being here. It is an honor to be joined by my esteemed colleagues in the Georgia delegation to discuss what passage of the American Rescue Plan Act will mean for the state of Georgia. Just in brief, this bill has two main components, direct economic relief for the people and investment in defeating COVID-19. This bill will deliver $1,400 stimulus checks per person, including children, and for the first time, including adult dependents. This bill will significantly increase the child allowance, the child tax credit, which will be raised to $3,600 per child under the age of six and $3,000 per child over the age of six. This bill will invest in vaccine production and supply so that every single Georgian has access to the COVID-19 vaccine for free by midsummer, if not before. And if you've been tracking the progress, the announcement that Mercedes-Benz Stadium will be used as a vaccine distribution center, 6,000 free vaccines per day, increasing class and race equity in vaccine access by serving, for example, the West End, English Avenue, and Vine City communities, as well as more broadly, Metro Atlanta. And this bill will deliver $4.5 billion for Georgia's public schools to safely reopen, in addition to more than $8 billion for state and local governments across the state of Georgia. Just a final note on the aid to state and local governments. For the first time, thanks to the hard work of this group, this aid will flow directly to localities with population under half a million. The CARES Act, the aid went to the state, the governor's office, and mostly to the city of Atlanta. Smaller localities did not get direct aid. We've banded together to fix that, to ensure that not just the smaller cities like Savannah and Roman Augusta, but also counties and smaller towns will get this direct support. So this is gonna be of huge help to the people of the state of Georgia. This is economic stimulus from the bottom up and the middle out, not from the top down. Zero percent of the tax credits and stimulus checks go to the top one percent. This is stimulating and recovering economically by getting help directly to working class and middle class people and investing in the public health effort to defeat COVID-19. And with that, it's an honor and a privilege to welcome my dear colleague, Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock.